hello everyone again and welcome to the dajo merit youtube channel and please before we actually dive into this particular part of this video don't forget to hit the like button share and subscribe but that way others can actually get the chance to check these videos out get inspired and also get to get more insight into the wonderful things happening in this particular dajo merit channel and now Looking into this particular video, we remember from our previous video that we talked about phenols and also the structure which has oxygen with hydrogen and burning with this particular benzene ring and this oxygen has two lone pairs quite similar to other compounds that we actually compared it with in terms of its derivatives and also looking at three ways by which we can actually introduce some nice naming system for phenols being its parent name and we talked about the orthomera directin and also we talked about, about castles we talked also about benzene diol and also we led in ourselves into applications of this particular phenols in nature most especially poison ivy tetracycline and so much more so now moving into this particular video we're going to be looking at the physical properties of phenols and looking at phenols we see that this particular compound has the hydroxyl group attached to benzene and this looking at it is quite similar to alcohols which in this case for consistency the carbon chain is actually six and we notice that the hydroxyl is attached to the carbon number two in this case it is called hexane two all so or hexa two all so in this case since there is a little bit of similarities in the chemical structure mainly due to the presence of the hydroxyl there should be something quite similar to them in terms of their physical properties one is looking at the boiling point and the boiling point of phenol is noticed to be very high so people will be wondering why very high it is this is mainly due to the comparing it with a relative compound that has close to the same molecular weight and in here we're going to look at the molecular weight of phenol which is around 94 grams per mole and if we look at that the boiling point is actually 182 degrees celsius now comparing this with some kind of similar compound in terms of the molecular weight range we got to pick a particular compound in here which is called methyl benzene and in here its molecular weight is 92 grams per mole and as a result we see that the boiling point of methyl benzene is 70 degrees less which is really huge in terms of the gap compared to the boiling point of phenol and now you might be wondering why why is this gap so huge that's why the fact we just changed the terminal region from a methyl which has carbon to the hydroxyl which has oxygen right there this is actually looking at it when phenol is actually alone in the bottle which means that in a bottle we just have on neighboring regions surrounded by phenol a lot of phenols everywhere really pure i would say 99 percent pure maybe that one percent is something else in there like some impurity which is so much less significant but if we just isolate a specific region that is 100 percent phenol what we see is that all these phenols here they have interactions within each other mainly due to the oxygen and hydrogen present in there compared to the relative neighbors which has oxygen and hydrogen all these guys they actually have the presence of a particular intermolecular attraction or force called hydrogen bonding due to the hydrogen of one compound interacting with the oxygen of a neighboring compound so this is actually crucial for the high boiling point in phenol compared to a neighboring 
or relative compound which in this case is methyl benzene and next here is looking at the solubility of phenol and what we realize is that this it is quite soluble in water and you might be wondering i mean of course it is soluble in water and the big question will be why because in any situation in chemistry you should always have an answer for the reason why a physical property is actually the way it is and looking at it molecularly or looking at the compound relativity looking at phenol if it is dropped in a specific water system which is highly pure no impurities in there we realize that water surrounds this phenol really nicely in a way and this surrounding of water around phenol really nicely is almost similar to you putting water in water and if water looking at it in there there is a lot of hydrogen bonding in there and now introducing other compound that has oxygen and hydrogen in there that also leads to interactions between the oxygen of the phenol with the hydrogens of the water and also the hydrogen of the phenol with the oxygen of the water so in this case what we notice is this fine beautiful network of bonds which are called hydrogen bonds in this particular system which makes the solubility in water to be really really impressive in there so that is about it for this particular video where we compared the physical properties which is boiling point and solubility in water of phenols in there and we realized and we came to the conclusion that both high relativity in terms of the boiling point and that of the solubility is due to the presence of the hydroxyl present in phenol that establishes its interaction between itself and between water molecules to be enhanced by a particular type of intermolecular attraction called hydrogen bond and looking at this we can come to the conclusion that hey this particular compound is pretty impressive and cool in a way so on our next video we're going to look at more things interesting stuff related to phenol how we make them in the laboratory and how it's actually made in the industrial sense and also we'll go into future videos related more related to phenols and maybe our in highlights in there so please thanks for following me through this trade appreciate it hit the comment down below let me hear your thoughts about all the physical properties that you think phenol has that is really cool to actually share with others and also please don't forget again to hit the like share and subscribe but that way others can actually get a chance to check out these videos and many more to come all the same stay smart and believe in yourselves